Hey guys, welcome back to Topless Baker. So I get questions every day, every week about buttercream. What's the best? What's the easiest to make? What's American? What's Swiss? How long does it take? A million questions. And today I'm gonna to break down all of those questions, give you the answers. We're gonna talk about buttercream basics, buttercream 101. But first, teacher Topless Baker is back. Class is in session and I've got a little bit of drawing to do for you to explain the basics of buttercream so that you can get it right every single time. So there's two elements to your buttercream. We've got to draw a little axis. So we've got our y-axis and our x-axis. And on our x-axis is the difficulty. So this is how hard it's going to be for you to make this buttercream. So if you are kind of a novice, you want to start back here. And if you're feeling really good about yourself, you're going to start up here. And then on the y-axis, we have got taste. So this is how good it's going to taste in your cakes, on your cupcakes. And we're going to put a little scale, zero to 10, zero to 10. And then we're gonna work from there. And today we're gonna to talk about three different buttercreams. So the first buttercream we're gonna talk about is American buttercream. So it's the most basic one that we can talk about. So on a difficulty scale, it's probably about a one. So we're gonna put it about here because actually I think it tastes like rubbish, but it's really easy to make. So we're gonna make a little dot here and we got our USA buttercream. Next up on the list, we're gonna talk about Swiss meringue buttercream. So this, is a little bit harder to make. So you're probably like a five or six out of 10, but it is worlds ahead of American buttercream in terms of taste. So we're probably like a six or a seven out of 10 in terms of taste. So we've got Swiss meringue buttercream there. And then the final one, the third one we're gonna talk about is French. Now this is a little bit harder than Swiss, but the taste is, oh, it is to die for. So we're gonna go about a seven out of 10, and then the taste, I'm gonna give it an eight or a nine. So that is our French meringue buttercream, and that is the scale on buttercream 101 of taste versus difficulty. So we are gonna start with Mr. USA over here, the easiest of buttercreams in our buttercream 101. Now, this is a great buttercream if you're just starting out. You want something simple, you want something to fill your cakes with, and you wanna build up your confidence a little bit. And it's so easy because basically, it's one part butter, two parts icing sugar or powdered sugar. So no matter how much butter or icing sugar you have, you can just do one and two parts. It's really simple. So what I've got here is really soft butter. See, if I poke my finger in it, yeah, it's like squelchy. You want it to be soft because if you beat cold butter, it just ain't gonna work. So take your butter that is really soft and put it into a stand mixer or you've got a hand mixer, you can do that too. And we're gonna beat that for about three to five minutes until it's really light and fluffy. And then once it's light and fluffy, I'll tell you what to do next. So after five minutes of your, whoa, it's still going, still going. After five minutes of your buttercream, it should be kind of white and light and fluffy, and that is what you're looking for, and it's so key that it's soft. Now, the other part of your buttercream is just powdered sugar, that is literally it. And that's probably one of the reasons it's a little bit lower on the scale, is because it just uses butter and vanilla and powdered sugar, so it doesn't taste amazing. But I'm gonna add in half of this powdered sugar into my bowl, it's gonna get really smoky. And then you're gonna beat this for about another three minutes again until it's really nice and airy and fluffy and incorporated. But just be careful when you turn your mixer on because the powdered sugar will go and blow all over you. So start slow and then increase the speed and then I'll come back and I'll tell you again in three minutes. So once you've given that another three minutes, we are at the final stage of the American buttercream. This is it. That's really how quick it is to make. It's kind of like five to 10 minutes and you whipped up a batch of your buttercream. So add in the rest of your icing sugar just tip all of that in. And then I've got some vanilla extract here and you want a really good vanilla paste of vanilla extract because this buttercream kind of lives or dies by the taste of your vanilla. So if you use kind of not a good one, it won't taste as good. And then I've got some milk and that's gonna help loosen the mixture up a little bit. And we just tip that in. And then again, we're gonna give it a beat for another, we're gonna give it a beat, we're gonna give it a beat for another two minutes until it's nice and fluffy and light. And then it's ready to use. And then after your final beating, your American buttercream is done. You should be left with kind of a smooth white buttercream. You can add different flavorings, you can add coloring. But yeah, it's really, really easy to make. The only downside of this is for me personally, I don't think it tastes very good. And also you get quite a few air bubbles in it because you're kind of beating that butter and that icing sugar and it's all going a bit crazy. It's really difficult to create a nice smooth edge to the cake because there's quite a lot of air in it. So that is the American buttercream, the simplest one on our topless teacher diagram. And now we're gonna move on to the Swiss. 
So number two, Swiss. We're gonna move on from the American and we're gonna get on with the Swiss, which is personally my favorite and the one that I use the most. But the Swiss meringue buttercream, there is one thing that you, you have to do. You cannot and you will not get it right unless you do this thing. And it's all about your butter, all right? This butter is so soft. It's been at room temperature for a day. If I poke my finger in it, you see how like squidgy and soft it is? You have to, and I cannot, I cannot say this enough, you have to have soft butter. If you have cold butter, this will not work. All right, that's my lesson out of the way, my lecture. So a Swiss meringue buttercream is meringue based, right? So everything apart from American buttercream is basically meringue based, which means it has eggs in it. So what I've got in a bowl here is egg whites and sugar, and I'm gonna place it over a bain marie. And then we're gonna whisk this probably about two, three minutes until it hits 65 degrees C on a digital thermometer. So you need a bit of kit here. You need to be a little bit busy. And then as soon as it hits 65 degrees C, we're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna pour it into our stand mixer with a whisk attachment, and we're gonna whisk it for seven minutes. So after seven minutes, you should have like a really thick, glossy Swiss meringue. And now we're gonna start adding in our butter. So. I've washed my hands and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back down and put it on high speed. And about a tablespoon at a time, you can do it with a spoon, I'm gonna throw the butter in. I'm gonna go, but, wait a couple seconds, but, throw the butter in. Now, when you add the butter, at first it's gonna look really soupy and it'll look like it's gone wrong. That is fine. As you keep adding more butter, it's then gonna look really curdled. Again, that is totally fine. Just keep whisking it, keep whisking it until you've added all the butter, keep whisking it for about another two or three minutes and then add in your vanilla, a pinch of salt, and it is done, and your Swiss meringue buttercream is ready to be eaten. So once you've added all your butter and then whisk for probably another two minutes, you should be left. This is just dreamy buttercream. This is my favorite. It's soft. It's got, I don't know how to describe it. It's like eating clouds. It's got this amazing, depth of flavor and the salt is really important because the salt kind of helps give it a little bit of a bite. So that is my Swiss meringue buttercream. In my opinion, the best buttercream to use for a cake. But next, we are gonna move on to the French. Right, we are on the final stop of our buttercream tour and today we're in France and we're gonna make French meringue buttercream. Now, personally, I use Swiss meringue buttercream more and the reason is, is because French meringue buttercream uses almost double the amount of butter. So it's a lot richer, but also it's really expensive because you need to use even more butter. But it is a French meringue because we're gonna make a French meringue as the base. So in here, I've got egg yolks. I'm gonna whisk those on a medium speed. And in the meantime, I'm gonna heat sugar and water and hit till it hits 121 degrees C. As soon as it hits 121 degrees C, I'm gonna tip that sugar syrup over the egg yolks and I'm gonna whisk them until they are nice and cool. It takes about five to seven minutes, and then we're gonna add in our butter. And just like last time, that butter is so soft. You cannot do this with cold butter, right? Make sure it's super soft, you can poke your finger in it, you can treat it like Play-Doh. All right, heat the sugar up, and we're gonna get our egg yolks whisking. So after seven minutes, you should be left with this kind of thick, pale, it's not really meringue technically because it's not egg white based, but this egg yolk mixture. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that back on high speed and we're just gonna slowly drop in this butter. So again, just wash your hands, take your fingers and plop in about a tablespoon at a time. Plop, that was a terrible word to use, but anyway, it is fine. And then just keep whisking until all that butter is incorporated. It's really nice and thick and smooth. And then your French meringue buttercream is done. You just gotta add in a little bit of vanilla again, a pinch of salt, whisk it through. Done. So once you've added in all your butter, you should be left with, oh, this is like the heaven of all buttercreams. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna add it into a bowl. I just wanna kind of show you the difference because it's really important when it comes to cake decorating. So if we start back in America, where we were down here. So this was really easy to make. This took us like, Six minutes maybe, we added a couple ingredients, we beat it together, but it's kind of stiff, it's a bit grainy, and it tastes like crap, basically. I don't think it tastes very good. So that's American buttercream. And then we move on 
to Swiss. So this is a little bit more advanced. You've got to heat some sugar up over the bamery and all that jazz. And it's really good for cake decorating because it tastes really good. It's soft, it's easy to smooth. So that is kind of my favorite to use because it's in between here. It's not too hard to make and also it doesn't cost the earth. So when we move on to French meringue, this stuff is expensive to make, but just look at how smooth it is. So if you've seen those cakes on Instagram that have amazing smooth edges, they're probably using like an Italian or a French meringue buttercream because this just smooths so easily. So there's no air bubbles in it. So when you go and scrape the edge of your cake, you're left with this amazing smooth finish to your cake. And oh, it's like sweet, heavenly butter. It's amazing. You can see it's a lot richer in color too. Right, so that is my buttercream 101. For American, Swiss to French, that is what I'm just trying to show you today. So if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more about buttercream, we've got German, we've got Italian, we've got loads of other things that we can cover, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys soon for more Topless Baker. Bye! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Topless Teacher Baker, that was the wrong name to use. Teacher Topless Baker is here. So once you've added all your butter and you've added... Right, so we're on the final stop. We are in France on our French marine butter. So after I've added in my butter...